Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how ETC Hash is now available at Nice Hash. So, Ethereum Classic is now available to mine with Nice Hash, and I'll be going through the article they released about it and just the kind of steps on how you can get set up in mining uh, Ethereum Classic on Nice Hash here itself. So, let's just jump right into it. So, for buyers of Hash Power, so if you do buy Hash Power through Nice Hash, Instead of having your own rigs, you can go ahead and purchase hash power on nice hash here. ETC hash has been implemented on our stratum servers and is now available on our hash power marketplace. You can purchase hash power for mining Ethereum Classic or ETC as you will call it. So if you instead don't have mining rigs and you just want to like get mining set up and be a part of the mining network, you can go ahead and purchase people's hash power that are mining on nice hash here. And you can do it directly for any of the algorithms they have on here and now including for ethereum classic and ethereum classic is the original ethereum blockchain that has long signaled its commitment to proof of work so it's strictly sticking to proof of work and not switching to proof of stake like the original ethereum or ethereum is doing ethereum classic is staying just proof of work and is likely to see a lot of ethereum's hash rate move to their own network post merge you can read about it more on their website and like their um, article that they have linked here. And if you are new to this, they do have a guide on buying hash power and running your own mining rigs without having them at your location here. So you'll be buying uh, hash power and it's not affecting your hydro bill. You're not running graphics cards. You're not doing any of that. It's relied on through somebody else. And they have a guide that you can check out here. If you click on this article link in the description, you can go here and click our guide and it will show you how to do that. So for sellers or miners of hash power, the list and details for all algorithms and stratum connections is listed on the nice hash website, or you can visit their stratum generator, which we'll be going over in this video here. But the ETC hash stratum is right here. They have a different one as well. They have a few of them, just depending on what type of connection you want. And their latest software release supports mining of Ethereum Classic. So nice hash miner version 3.0.9.2 will support mining on ETC hash, but I'll be showing you how to download that software and get started mining uh, Ethereum Classic if you are interested on doing that through NiceHash. It's good to see that NiceHash is picking up on this because once Ethereum goes to proof of stake or it's done its merge, a lot of this is gonna transition over to Ethereum or uh, Ethereum Classic, sorry. A lot of like the power behind Ethereum itself is gonna transfer over to Ethereum Classic and possibly Bitcoin, but I see a lot more of these miners and such directing their attention to any Ethereum-based uh, projects like ETC Hash or ET, uh, ETH Pow or whatever you want to call it. There's a few different ones out there on the market that are going to be happening, but this is going to be your main route when mining after post-merge, I believe. But that's just my prediction. There's obviously a lot of other coins and things, and the hash power could just spread out in general. But it's nice to see because a lot of these miners can't transition into Bitcoin or some other coins because a lot of these like Ethereum miners even have ASIC miners and things like that that have to be transitioned only to Ethereum Classic. So that's why it's kind of like a big deal and why everyone's kind of projecting that ETC is going to be the new main coin to mine. It just depends on how the profitability stays, how many coins are mined, things like that. There's a lot that goes into play when calculating how stable this might end up being. It could totally fall apart. It could destroy Ethereum Classic for all we know because there's too much power and not enough profitability. But we wait and see and it's good to see nice hash incorporating this. But I'll be showing you guys the stratum generator and how to get set up using their mining software if you are interested in mining Ethereum Classic here. So I'll post a link for all these different tabs I have open, all these different links I'm jumping to. They'll be in the description below if you want to check them out. But if you come over to the Stratum Generator here on the Nice Hash website, you're going to see all these different boxes and things like that. What you want to do is select a uh, desired algorithm. Of course, you can mine any of the algorithms that they have listed here, but we're focusing on ETC Hash. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this list, you're going to see ETC Hash. And once you have that selected, you click generate address, then it's going to spit out two different types of one. So there's one for the SSL connection and there's one for like your normal stratum plus TCP. So if you want the secured way, I believe SSL is the way to do it if you have it set up for that. Or your standard way is going to be this one right below it. The one that I said that's in the article here, uh, right down here. That's going to be your normal um, stratum that you're going to be using for this. 
So if you just right click on and copy and then paste it into your mining software, but this is how you're going to get your stratum URL. If you are using an external miner, like if you're using your own software, your own programs, and you have your own mining rig set up, and now I'll be showing you how to do it through their all in one program, you could say. So you want to come over to, this is also posted on their website and in my description here, you want to come over to nicehash.com forward slash mining. And this is going to bring you to like your mining setup. So start selling your idle computing power with nice hash. So in a sense, you can just use any form of computer or laptop and you can get mining with nice hash most of the time. It might not be obviously like Ethereum classic or, you know, Bitcoin or things like that. It just depends what power and how new your technology is. If you're using CPU, GPU, using both, using an ASIC miner, there's a lot of variables that go into it. But like I said, we're focusing on Ethereum Classic. So you want to scroll down and you're going to see uh, GPU slash GPU or GPU slash CPU, sorry. And you want to left click on it. And it's going to bring you to this page here, nicehash.com forward slash CPU dash GPU dash mining. And this is going to be where your software is, depending on what you want to do and which route you want to go with. So if you scroll down here just a little bit, you're going to see nice hash quick miner on your left hand side. And this is going to be your most easiest way to get set up a mining it is literally you download the software, you run it, and it gives you your algorithms and everything that are recommended for your device. So you don't have to go through any setup at all. You don't have to set up any batch files, command files, anything of the sort. And the best part is you can right click here and click try mining. And it's going to bring you to this page here and it's going to say start mining and earn mining with uh, earn money with your graphics card and you click try mining now and then you have to click I confirm the country selection is correct whatever click try mining now and it's going to download the software here and you can run it yourself and it's going to open up on this page here and it's going to see if your devices what you're going to be mining what your profit you're going to make and things like that depending on your device and depending on how powerful your graphics card is or how powerful your CPU is this is going to determine that before you go right in depth with mining or anything. So all I do is left click on the nice hash quick miner dot exe and do, do not close this browser as it says, just follow these steps. And then this green button is going to come up and you click, click start mining. And it's going to, like I said, determine your profitability and what you can mine with your devices that you do have. So that's one way you can go about it. Or on the right hand side here, there's nice hash miner. And this uses third party miners for automatic algorithm switching. So if you kind of have like an understanding of cryptocurrency and mining and things like that and which algorithms work with your devices, the nice hash miner is going to be your go to here. And that's going to give you third party miners. So um, like CC miner, um, there's a few other ones as well that I just can't think of off the top of my head. Um, XM rig, things like that. There's just going to be different miners at your accessibility instead of having, you know, the quick miner what determines everything for you. The nice hash miner is kind of more open source so you can go ahead and get in there and get a little more hands on with your mining software and all you do is the same thing you click start mining and i'll bring you to this page here and you're going to create a nice hash account and then it's going to bring you to download the software i'm not going to get too in depth with that i just want to show you your options for mining ethereum classic and then the best part is about nice hash miner so if you're not sticking to ethereum classic let's say you kind of want whatever is most profitable at whatever time Nice hash miner will give you that option where it's going to pull the most profitable algorithm and it's going to put that up. So if you are focusing on Ethereum Classic only, I would suggest Quick Miner. So depending on your device, you can set it to Ethereum Classic and you're good to go. Here is going to be your algorithm switching. So let's say if all of a sudden the Bitcoin algorithm is more profitable for you, all of a sudden that's going to pop up and then let's say Ethereum Classic goes up then that's going to be more profitable or ergo or this or that. There's a few different algorithms they have. So it really just depends on your device and your technology and how much power you're putting towards this. That's why I recommended doing this at first to see what you're capable of mining and what you're capable of doing. So either way, even if you are using quick miner or the miner, you want to use this program here at the start, the quickminer.exe, and you're going to sit tight and your devices will be detected after you run that software. And that's going to determine what the best uh, route is for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of want to make a quick video here to show you guys that Ethereum Classic is available to mine now at NiceHash and which softwares are the best to use and which routes the best to go. I know I really didn't go too much in depth. Usually I show like a more in-depth tutorial, but it's kind of hard myself because I don't have any like GPU 
uh, rig set up or anything like that right now just because of my location and things. I've explained that in previous videos before too. So for me, it was just showing you guys, you know, the options you have and which route is better for depending on your device and what you want to mine and things like that. Because NiceHash has a wide variety of coins and algorithms, but I was just focusing on Ethereum Classic. So if you want to do the Ethereum Classic route, like I said, just depending, you can pick the software and go about it that way. Or you can go ahead and just use a totally third party software without running any of their like quick miner or anything like that. So you don't have to use any of these to go ahead and mine uh, Ethereum Classic on here. That's why they have the stratum generator. So let's say you're using like Phoenix miner or if you're using, I forget, like it's been so long since I've actually had mining software going. But if you use any like third party mining software, this is what you're going to be focusing on and using like the stratum and such. So there's multiple ways to go about mining Ethereum Classic on NiceHash, which is nice. It opens up to many people and different routes you could go about. But yeah, I just want to make a quick video saying it's available now and what to do if you want to go ahead and mine it on here. So if it was a little rambly, that's just how I am. I like to be in depth and be thorough with all this. But again, that was it. That's all for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you guys are enjoying this content and that's helping you out. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.